Hey guys, it's Future 123 here, and welcome back to another video. This is episode number 61 of the Swansea City Career Mode. And to start off here, we have a game against Manchester City at the Etihad. So, I'm really sorry about, uh, you know, the lack of uploads in, like, the past month. As I've been saying, the past few episodes, I had an exchange student. He actually left yesterday, so now I'm free. Uh, so I'm going to be trying now to upload at least five times a week, so one extra video than normal. I'll try to be uploading, you know, six, maybe even uh, daily uploads if I can, but uh, just to make it up to you guys uh, so I can get these videos out. You know, I'd like to finish at least a season, uh, one, you know, one more season of each career mode, um, including this one uh, before FIFA 17. Uh, so hopefully we can get it done. But as you see by our team, a very strong one. In this episode, we'll have this first game against City in the BPL, and then we'll have two games in the Europa League uh, round of 16 against uh, Spurs. Uh, but the first chance in this game comes right from kickoff. Uh, Didabi here plays a nice ball into Gustavo. Gustavo into Martins. Martins somehow gets around his defender, goes for the shot, and uh, puts it past the onrushing Caballero to make it 1-0. So what a great start to the game here. Just a few seconds in. This is like one of the fastest goals I've ever scored in FIFA this year. As the ball comes in here from Gustavo. Uh, he plays it inside Lejeune, I think, or whatever. I don't even... I've never I'm seen him in the City team. Like, I don't even know why how why he's on this game. Uh, like, on their team. But uh, he, he just put his foot out uh, for no reason. And Gelson Martins just went past. Uh, and he's he finished it back in that. So, to start off the game, we... Uh, go up 1-0 very early on. Near another chance now. Fred here on the counter plays into Dadabi. And against Lejeune again. Gets around him easily. Goes for the shot. And uh, Dadabi pulls up on that play. But what a great strike from him. So we're up 2-0. I think it was 17 minutes gone. Like we're just st uh, start this game. We just dominated Lejeune making another um, mistake there. Uh, just I don't even know why he's in the team. Uh, but as you see there. Dadabi uh, pulled up on that play. But he'll be back. Uh, uh, the injury will wear off, so he won't have to come off um, before the first half ends. But here now, Gelson Martins gets around his one defender, plays it into Berardi, who goes for the strike, but it goes just wide. So to start the game, we were dominating City. We were just uh, push pressing them. They didn't really have the strongest of teams out. Uh, that didn't really matter here as Luis Gustavo goes around his defender, goes for the shot, and he makes it 3-0 in the 40th minute. So he was just... Uh, we were just crushing City in this game. They, you know, their defense was terrible. Uh, they rested a few players, but uh, you know they were just playing very poorly this game. And uh, we got through the defense easily here with Gustavo. He scored like his fifth or goal this season. Like he just scored so many goals from him. That, um, the position he plays. Uh, but Caballero should really be saving that as uh, Gustavo makes it 3-0. Uh, so uh, one more chance here to end off the half as Ihenacho, uh, the ball goes up in the air. He plays it back to Fernandinho, back to Ihenacho, to Delph, uh, but the strike goes over the bar and out for a goal kick. But that's how the first half ends. So very good first half from us. Just very easy. You know, we broke through um, City's defense very easily. And that's not good to see as a City, as a City fan. I know this is FIFA, but... That's one thing I don't really like, you know, well, all the time, whenever I play City, they always play like their weak side, you know, they never play a strong team with like De Bruyne, Aguero, Silva, like it's always like all of these players playing and I, that's the one thing I don't like about FIFA, as sometimes, you know, when, even though we're still a very good team, we're higher up than City, they still sometimes play weaker, um, weaker players, but a few chances from us there as the Dobby shot hits the post, so we, we just kept on dominating the side, definitely we slowed down in the second half, but we didn't really have to keep our pace going. I've been playing so well this game. Another chance here, Johnny uh, breaking through, and his shot goes uh, wide of the target. Here now to end off the game in the 89th minute. Uh, Kent down the left-hand side, subbed on. Uh, gets around his defender. Uh, goes through on goal, goes to the shot. Caballero makes a save, but Gustavo's in the middle of the box as uh, he finishes it past Caballero. As he makes it 4-0, so overall just great performance from the team. We wrecked uh, City there. Uh, the, you know, they just played poorly. By the end of the game, they brought on some players. I think Torre, Odomendi, someone else. Uh, but it was just too little too late for them. As uh, they should have, you know, they should have been on uh, to start off the game. But uh, that's how the game finishes here as uh, just uh, City play the ball out. Uh, with some other players. Uh, De Bruyne also uh, was brought on, but uh, none of them really made an impact, and that's how the game finishes. So very good result, getting that 4-0 win. Just, you know, absolute destruction. And uh, City uh, played very poorly that game. But uh, we're going to have to get ready the next game. Uh, we, we're going to be playing Spurs here in the first leg of the Europa League uh, the group, say, uh, the Europa League round of 16. And as you see, just two days after the City game, we play uh, Spurs. So just all-around fixture congestion right now. But at least we have a week 
uh, from for Thursday to the next leg. So we won't be having to uh, worry about a league game in the middle of uh, these two legs. But, uh, of course, Spurs are a very strong team. They actually signed Lukaku, too, as you saw there. Uh, so they have a pretty strong team, some good players uh, all around, of course. Uh, they're not the most experienced of teams, but, you know, this is like the third season. So uh, now this team looks uh, very strong. Uh, you know, they have great players, defense, attack everything so this will be a very tough match but I still think you know if we just play one this first leg don't allow Spurs to any away goals I think we have a great chance going the second leg especially with that one week's rest as our team uh, is looking very tired at the moment but as you see by our team um, you know pretty weak side uh, considering uh, the one we usually play as you see by Spurs team not the strongest as well uh, some you know defensive and offensive players playing like Pritchard uh, other players like Shadley, uh, but you know it's a still a strong side from Spurs, and uh, we're gonna have to play well this game. But to start off the match on uh, the 20th minute, Dyer actually pulls up. Or uh, Dyer gets injured from the header there as he falls to the ground. But I don't, I don't think that'll be such a serious injury, and he should be only be out for a few days. But here now, Berardi down the left hand side uh, gets around his defender, cuts inside, plays a great ball into Rodrigo, who goes for the shot. Uh, but Lloris makes the first of many saves. Now from the corner kick, uh, the ball gets cleared away, but it comes out to Jack Cork on the top of the box, who actually goes for the shot. He went pretty close uh, to the target, uh, but Lloris uh, tips it over the bar, and that's how their first half ends. So pretty even first half. Uh, Lloris was playing pretty well uh, to start off, but... Uh, overall, very even as you saw there by the match stats. So I'd be happy, you know, j just not letting uh, Spurs get an away goal is the most important thing uh, going into the second leg. But here now a chance Rodrigo plays it down the right hand side to St. Graven, who cuts around his defender, plays it back inside to Rodrigo, goes to the shot. Uh, but uh, Luis makes another good save. Here now um, the ball gets headed in. He plays into uh, Rodrigo to Milik, then to Berardi on the left hand side, who played uh, on the left this game. Uh, but his shot gets saved by Lloris again. Here now Carroll plays a great ball into Ayu. He's through, N not off sides. Here he goes through. And <laughs> I can't even say anything. He goes through on goal, 90th minute, and he finishes it past uh, Lloris uh, to make it one nil. What a great goal from Andre Ayu. He's been, you know, he's underperformed this season, uh, but he came on I think as a sub here and uh, put a great uh, goal in. As you see here, the pass came in. He was just on size. He cut inside. Uh, for, uh, you know, w when he made his run, he cut inside nicely. Uh, the ball got played through, and he finished it easily past the keeper. So uh, he makes it 1-0, and what a great goal from IU. You know, it might be a very vital one uh, going to the second leg. And now Spurs need to score two goals uh, in the other leg uh, to go through. So uh, that's a great, uh, you know, Great performance by the team. Great way to end off the game from Ayu as uh, we head into uh, the next leg with a 1-0 uh, lead. So very good result from the team. And now going to the second leg, you know, our heads held high. Uh, maybe we can go through into uh, the quarterfinals of this competition. But as you see, uh, I think, oh no, they didn't show the tournament tree. That'll be in the next leg. Uh, but there's still a lot of good teams. I think City are playing, uh, Sevilla. Uh, there might there's some uh, Italian team that's playing as well. I can't I can't remember every team, but there's still some very good teams in this competition. So it won't be easy going to the next few legs. But I still uh, think uh, you know we can go far in this competition. As we go into some player training, uh, just switching up uh, there's some training for um, Milik. But other than that, you know just waiting for Martins. Once he gets to 83, I'll just stop training as well. Milik once he gets to 80, I'll probably stop training him as well. And then we can put some other players. Uh, Baye hasn't really been growing in the past few. Um, week, so maybe I'll put him into the training or I'll put in Romagnoli as well uh, to increase both of the defender stats. But now as you see by the schedule, uh, you know, right now it doesn't look that packed other than, you know, in two days we play Liverpool here. Uh, but it'll start to, um, you know, it'll start to get packed here if we get into the next uh, round of the Europa League. Obviously, I think it, the, the the week after, right, you know, the right, right, the next week right after this one there, that was what I was trying to say, uh, we'll be playing uh, the next leg. So it's just going to be Thursday, every Thursday, you know, if we keep on going through this competition, every Thursday we're going to have, a, uh, you know, a cup game. But as you see by the uh, tournament tree, a lot of good teams still left in this tournament. Uh, but I still think we can do very well in this one. Uh, as we, you know, in this game, we, we have the comfort here. Uh, we got that one goal lead uh, going to uh, the first leg. I mean, going to the second leg here. And, uh, 
you know, we just have to play our game. Uh, we, we just have to play, you know, control the game, play good defense. And, uh, if, you know, if we can get Nick away an away goal, then it'll be very tough uh, for Spurs. He will need to score three goals uh, to uh, go through to the next round. So, uh, you know, that one goal is vital for us if we can get it. Uh, but going to this match, hopefully uh, we can just, uh, you know, win on aggregate here. A win would be nice, uh, you know, away, but we don't really need one to uh, go through the next round. But the first chance here comes to... Uh, uh, Spurs here, Heumann's sun shot uh, gets saved by uh, um, Dragowski. Here now, uh, Herrera wins the ball off. Uh, he plays it into Son, uh, who plays it back into Herrera. Weird kind of shot. He didn't really uh, run onto it, and it goes over the bar. Here now, Trippier wins the ball. He plays it into Masek. Uh, Masek plays it into Son. Uh, here, uh, you know, starting off with a, a few chances, plays it into Bentelebs, but his, the Algerian shot goes over the bar. And that's how the first, first half ends. So, you know, just comfortable first half. You know we didn't. He, you know we don't need to score a goal. So I'm not. I'm not too fussed if we had didn't really create any chances in the first half. You know, a, a little worried that we might concede a goal, but I still have faith in this defense. Uh, and of course, Dragowski in goal. But now a chance to the shot here goes just wide in here. Now Kane plays it into Masek, uh, but it gets cleared away by Dragowski, and then Son from the cross uh, is punched away by the goalkeeper. Here now uh, Dembele plays it into Son, Son into Masek again, who goes for the shot, but it goes over the bar. And really, Spurs had a lot of chances this game but didn't really put a lot of shots on target and if they did it was right at uh, Dragowski but here now Gelson Martins cuts around his defender uh, turns inside plays it into Gustavo uh, but Lloris makes a good save uh, on the back of that uh, first match uh, you know pl played very well made a lot of saves and uh, here now Guerrero plays it inside to Sinkraven who goes for the shot Lloris makes a save and Rodrigo tries to uh, cross it back in uh, here now, uh, Guerrero tries to play the ball and wins the ball off. Luckily, goes through on goal, plays it uh, square to Rodrigo, finishes it past the keeper. And uh, in the 80th minute, we just wrap up um, this round of 16 uh, fixture. But, you know, very lucky goal from us. Uh, Guerrero dribbled through, came out as a substitute. Uh, he tried to pass the ball into, uh, I think it was Sink Raven, uh, but it got deflected and he won it back, luckily. Uh, went past the defenders and uh, just squared it off to Gustavo. But that's how the game ends, and this is how the episode will end. So, uh, just a very good result from the team, and we'll head into the next leg. Uh, we'll, be um, we'll be feeling very good. You know, didn't concede a goal in any of those two games, which is good to see. And you saw by the tournament tree there, some uh, very good teams still left. But actually, a few teams, you know, uh, surprising teams got eliminated. But if you guys enjoyed the episode, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I won't be up. I'll be uploading more than I have been these past, you know, three weeks. So hopefully you guys enjoy that content. Bother in that. Have a good day.